It's been two years. Two years since I invested in my favorite little piece of equipment for online yoga teaching, and that is the Rode Wireless Go. This is a wireless microphone that has completely transformed my online teaching, my business, and I would even say my life. So this is a two year review and I wanna share with you a little bit about this once again, but also share with you the impact that it's made further and beyond just simply using it to enhance my audio quality. So first I wanna share with you how it works and then I'll share with you how to um, configure it in different ways. So if this is the first and only video you've ever seen me talk about this microphone, hopefully it is helpful for you. All of the links are going to be down below in the description so you can go right to it. I am not sponsored by this company, by Rode. Um, it's a great brand. I think it's amazing. Um, if you go with a different brand or you know find what works for you, that's great but I'm gonna keep talking about this and I'm trying to use it as long as I can. It's been two years and I'm still using this microphone. And I'm gonna share with you a little story. So it was two years ago, actually three, four years ago, I started posting more yoga videos on YouTube. And at the time I lived in a house that had a lot of echo. And I just thought to myself, how great would it be to have a wireless microphone? I mean, to not have to do a voiceover afterwards, which takes so much time, or not have to record the audio separately and then edit them together, which again takes so much time, or my audio quality just wasn't great because it was very echoey. And so I had to do one of those three things and it just was a bit of annoyance. I thought to myself, why isn't there a product out there that I can buy that is a microphone, wireless, there's gotta be, right? And what I found was there was products out there, but they were very expensive. $800 for a base, there a base package of, you know, cords and cables. And I didn't know if it connected to my computer and it was really confusing. So I didn't get anything until a friend two years ago mentioned the Rode Wireless Go. And so I bought it and right away I tried to use it. It didn't work. And that's how a lot of you probably found me, as you bought a wireless microphone, you tried to use it and it didn't work. And you might have scrapped it for a while or you returned it saying it's faulty. That's not true. And maybe you watched one of my other YouTube videos where I share with you how you can connect it to a computer, how you can connect it to your phone, and the extra little items that you're going to need. In this video, I also wanna share some pros and cons and what I found with this microphone that I think could be updated or helpful. And also what I've noticed just by uh, talking to people in primarily the yoga industry, but a lot of different industries when it comes to this specific microphone. So let's go through how it works first, and then we'll get into some different configurations. So how this works, you'll get two pieces, two pieces, there's a microphone, which you got the microphone at the top. You don't need anything extra. You can talk right into it. Then you've got the receiver that connects to your recording device. So you'll need a cable to connect into this. And that's where I'll talk on some of the different configurations because you may need different cables based on your device. So you have the receiver that shows you a little bouncing bar. It also gives you three volume levels. You can change it to low, medium, or high. And it shows you that it's paired and it shows you the battery life. So this is the receiver. This is the microphone. The microphone can simply be held and talked into. You can, like me, place it or clip it onto underneath your shirt is what I usually do. Or if you have a tank top, it might be over the shirt. I know that some people will wear it like this, which is fine too. It just depends on the shirt you're wearing. So you'll have to adjust that according to the shirt you're wearing, right? Um, and you can also use an external microphone like a cord or a lavalier, and I have a couple of those options too. So how it works is you talk into it and the receiver plugs into your device and the sound then is crisp and clear and wonderful and it's way better, especially if you have to talk from far back. And that's that's what we as yoga teachers need is, you know, we're moving around a bunch, we might be in downward facing dog or turning away, and we need our participants to be able to hear our, hear our voice clearly. And when you only have an internal microphone on your computer or your phone, it can get echoey or hard to hear, or there might be background noise. So this is so 
wonderful for enhancing your audio quality, but there are some challenges that arise with this if you're like me and thinking, well, how do you connect it? I can't connect it to my phone. The cable doesn't work or it doesn't work for me. Okay, let's go through one by one how you connect it to different things. If you are using this with a camera, like a DSLR camera or some sort of camera that allows for an external audio, you're going to use the cable, the cord that the Rode Wireless Go came with. It comes with this black cable, black and black, well, red coil cable. Each side has two rings on the tip, okay? So you're gonna connect it to your camera and there's usually a little, like you can slide it in the top of the camera, plug this into the camera and you're good to go. You'll use this same cable for something like a speaker to enhance or to amplify your voice. So you can plug it into the AUX input. And the trick with this one is to make sure that you can see, you don't wanna hide the receiver behind the um, speaker. You wanna make sure that there's a direct line of sight. And if you turn around and that's fine, but if you, if you get far enough away, it might um, start cutting out on you. So direct line of sight is always best. So that works for amplifying your voice. Um, I do have a lot of videos also that talk on each of these. So I have an amplifying your voice video. I have a how to connect it to her computer, how to connect it to iPhone, all of that stuff. I'll link all of those in the description. So that's where this cable comes in handy. And one other uh, thing you can try, if you have a newer MacBook Air, sometimes, sometimes you can plug in this directly to the headphone jack and use it that way sometimes. So try it first in your computer before getting these other cables because this cable does not work for most computers. Some of them, yes, I've heard that MacBook Air, the newer versions, 2018 and above, may you may just get away with just this cable, but it's also good to have these other ones just in case you decide to use the Rode Wireless Go with other devices. So that's the only reasons I would use this one is a speaker, a camera, 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 or maybe some computers, maybe some different kinds of computers. So we're gonna put this aside now. Now th that comes with the purchase of this device, which is about $200. And you will need a couple extra things if you wanna plug it into an iPhone or most other computers. And what that's going to entail is a cable that looks very similar. It's the SC7 cable, or what we have here is a gray side with three rings on the tip here. This is a TRRS to a TRS. So it looks just slightly different, but the input's different. So the black side's going to go into the receiver and this is gonna go into not your computer, probably not your computer, but at least into, um, you know, where's that little thing that goes into a iPhone? So you'll have to attach it then like, like so. So this is gonna go into your iPhone. Or for a computer, what I found, which is my first video that you may have found me from, is uh, this USB device. So this didn't connect to my computer. I plugged it in, didn't work. The other cable didn't work. So I thought, you know, I plug in my Yeti mic through a USB, why would it be any different for this microphone? So I got a USB connector cable and this is now what I put plug into my computer every single day to use this Rode Wireless Go on Zoom on my computer. I have a 2015 MacBook Pro. You might need a USB-C or something else, but just know it's possible with the right connections to use the Rode Wireless Go. There is always a way, there's a way to use it, and you'll have to test out the different configurations based on the device that's recording. So this is what I do for my computer. You may need, again, you may need the USB-C. If you have a new MacBook Air, try the original cable, but even if you do have a MacBook Air, you can also try the USB or USB-C. So this is what I do to plug into my computer, okay? And for my phone, I told you that as well, I just use this here. Now, when you plug this into a phone, also know that if you're on Zoom, you will not be able to hear anything back. It plugs up your sound. So if you're on Zoom or if you are recording and you try to play it back with this still plugged in, you're not gonna hear anything. Okay, so 
There also is a couple other cables that this microphone comes with, and they are the charging cables. So it's a USB-C to USB. So you'd think that maybe, hey, I can plug in the receiver to use it that way not the original. You can't do that with the original Rode Wireless Go. However, if you get the Rode Wireless Go 2, you can. Again, that's where it gets a little confusing. The Rode Wireless Go comes with two microphones, beautiful, and so you can use two microphones at the same time that you're using the receiver, and the receiver can actually be plugged in through USB-C, but you won't be able to change the volume. So I still plug in the Rode Wireless Go 2 the same way I plug in the original and do not charge it at the same time. If you try to charge it at the same time that you're using it, you're going to get a high pitch squeak and it's not going to make your video quality very nice. So do not charge your um, Wireless Go original at the same time that you're using it plugged in um, through USB or however you want to plug it in. Even if you plug it in and you're using it, this with an iPhone, um, it's not gonna be good. So don't charge it at the same time. Make sure it's all charged up before you use it. And this lasts me, and it still lasts me, at least three hours, at least three hours of on, on air recording time. So I have a 30 minute yoga class I teach every weekday in the morning. And so I turn it on probably five minutes before class and it's on for about 40 minutes total. And I go all five days without charging it and it still has some charge at the end of the week. So I'm using it quite a bit. Of course, if you're using it for three, four or five hours in a long period of time, I think, I think the limit's about three to maybe five hours is kind of up there, but they might say three to five hours. So far for me, it's been lasting a week with um, a full charge. It lasts a week for five 30 minute practices at least that much, if not a little bit more. So that's been great. It's held its charge really well. I haven't needed to use it for more than that extended amount of time. But you know, if you use it every day, maybe you charge it up every day too. You know, that's not a big deal either. So the Rode Wireless Go, I haven't had any issues with the original one. The one issue I don't like, but I think is going to be an issue whether it's new or older, is that the button to turn it on is right here, right? You have to hold it for a while. And sometimes it like doesn't catch that you're trying to turn it on or off, so you have to click it again and hold it for a little while. It's not just a simple on and off switch, which is probably a good thing. So you have to try a few times sometimes to try to turn it off or on, and it gets a it's like it's like minorly annoying, just minorly annoying. So I'm not that concerned about it. It's still turning on and off. One of my concerns is that maybe one day it just won't turn on. <laughs> but that hasn't happened yet unless it wasn't charged, but that's rare. So I make sure that my, my battery bars are in the green and if it's ever near the red, I will plug it into charge. Um, but yeah, so I wanna make sure it's off and there is, there is a signal on the microphone that you've got the blue lights on, it means it's on. When they're off, it means it's off. So it gets a little tricky sometimes by fumbling and clicking the buttons, but that's the only thing that annoys me. Um, the other thing you wanna be, uh, concerned about maybe is if you put this on and you if you have any you know that's going to be the same with any microphone if you have shirts or something that are getting in the way of the microphone piece you may want to consider an external lavalier to connect to this and if you're going with the Rode brand you'll have to get the Rode lavalier go the Rode lavalier go it's not the smart lav the Smart Lav by Rode is something that you'd plug directly into your device. This one, the Lavalier Go, is made for the Rode Wireless Go to connect. So the difference is that at the end of this, you'll see two rings. The Smart Lav has three rings. You want whatever is going to connect as this microphone piece to have one or two rings only, not three. So if you have another microphone or lavalier, this one's $70, so it's a little bit of an investment, um, an addition, but it's really, really good. Great quality, you clip this on, just hide the cables in some way, and it's, it works great. So it would be the Rode Lavalier Go if you wanted to do more of this lavalier style. And I've used this in my yoga classes, and that works great too. Um, another one that I got, if you prefer more of like a headset, would be, it's not available in, in all countries, but this pile, 
double ear or single ear headset was $17 or was it 15? It wasn't expensive, but this only has one ring over the on, on it. And I bought this without knowing if it would actually work and it does work. So if you plug this in, hide the cables, you know, and you can now talk into the microphone piece, which is a little adjustable. You can pull it forward, pull it back. And those little poof ball you can also put on it as a windscreen. So this one works really well. Um, you do have to have your hair up. I think having a headband would help. Uh, you know, if you're doing a lot of movement, it might help. It does get a little loose here and there. Um, I have very small ears too, so a little complicated. But this has been really great for a lot of people who are looking for more of a headset or if you don't wear a shirt or you don't have the correct bra or if you're a man, for instance, and you're going shirtless, you may consider more of um, an over-the-ear type of thing. So then you would just clip on the microphone to your belt or wherever and you can use the headset. So that's been really helpful too. I'm finding all these ways that this microphone is useful for recording on your phone, your computer, uh, on a camera, using it to amplify your voice. And I just love the size of it. Another thing that though it does not come with for the cost of $200 is a case. So I got the case separately, another 10 or $15. Every little additional thing is like an additional cost. So what I kind of compare this to is like staying at a fancy four or five star hotel versus the all-in-one accommodating two, three-star hotel. So you have the fancy hotel that is wonderful and great quality, but everything is extra. So the cost of breakfast is extra. The cost of, um, you know, room service is extra. And everything is sort of just added on top. So that's how the Road Wireless Go uh, is set up. And then, you know, a two or three-star motel hotel might have everything with it, but it's still not gonna last as long and be as great a quality. I also would like to think that these, the road brand oftentimes is kind of like Apple. So Apple computers, once people start using Apple computers, uh, MacBook Pro, iPhone, there's a lot of brand, um, what's it called? Brand, uh, you stick to that brand, right? You stick to that brand and you know it's really good quality. So I am, I'm an Apple girl. So I really like my MacBook Pro, iPhone, and I will stay with Apple as my brand of choice when it comes to technology. Same thing with the Rode Wireless Go and the Rode brand. I really like the quality that they give because they focus on audio equipment. It's not a random technology trying to keep up with the times. It's something that they created and came up with because that's their focus and they're really good at it. So this piece of equipment I found, um, just the, the feel and the look of it and how it sits in your hands, uh, it just feels like a better quality plastic, better quality materials than some of the other microphones I've gotten to test out. And I have gotten a few microphones to test out based on the success of what I've done with this microphone. I have companies reach out to me wanting me to test their equipment or make videos. And I've made a few, but I still keep coming back to this microphone, this brand, and trying to use this one as long as I can. So that's my review on the original Rode Wireless Go. I love it. I still use it every single morning in my Zoom classes. Just make sure to set your audio settings in the Zoom square to, uh, it'll be USB audio device if you're using the USB cable. Of course, if you are able to plug it right in, it might say Rode Wireless Go, but it, for me, it says USB audio device. I've actually seen a lot more complaints with the Rode Wireless Go 2 than I have with the original. With the two that came out a year after I got the original one, um, they have two microphones that you can use at the same time. You can't just pair two microphones to the original. It just, it doesn't work that way. So this one has the two microphones and the main complaint I've heard about this one specifically is that one of the microphones stops working or it doesn't pair or it's not connected. And we're not sure how to troubleshoot that. So that's the only thing I've heard, and I've heard that happen quite a few times. So this one being $300, 
you can risk it. You can try it. Make sure that it is paired right away. That way, if it is faulty at all, you can return it. Um, but if it do, if and when it does work, it's great because you can use it the same way you use, you, you'd use the original, but you have a second microphone. So you don't have to use both at the same time. You can just use one microphone and the receiver, but you know, you've got a backup just in case. And you never know if you want to do like an interview or have two teachers or maybe you set one microphone next to music so it's playing external music while one is connected to you. I have a few videos on how to do that as well. That would be more so for like a hybrid yoga class. Um, again, this doesn't come with the case. It doesn't come with any of the additional cables except the original black to black cable and the charging cables. So everything else will be sold separately. Case included, I've got some stains on there. Um, but yeah, so my two year review is I'm gonna keep using this bad boy until it goes kaput. And I don't know when that's going to be, but I hope it's not anytime soon. The impact that this microphone has had on my business is far greater than just enhanced quality. With the enhanced quality and the ease of use, it's allowed me to streamline the process of getting videos out. So it's much faster. I can produce more content and it enhances my confidence. So just that alone, that I feel confident in the way that I sound, I feel like I know that my audience on the other side can hear me. That makes such a big difference. And it makes me want to actually get online and start teaching because I know things are good. Things are set up right. I don't need to have the fanciest camera at all. In fact, I used um, an old webcam for a while and it worked just fine. And then the audio to me was the most important thing. And now that I'm teaching yoga business, yoga marketing, yoga video strategy a lot more, most, I would say, I would, yeah, most people, a lot of yoga teachers who end up working with me in my mentorship and memberships found me through uh, microphone videos through YouTube like this. And you might be one of those too. <laughs> so if you do want more strategy beyond microphone tips and troubleshooting, um, I'm here for you. So I do have a membership group. I do have additional resources. You can go to ashesyoga.com, ashesyoga.com, find the membership tab uh, up there. I also have some free guides available as well. All of those, I'm just going to link them in the description so you have them because they can be helpful and getting you out there to actually teaching. So that's the Rode Wireless Go. I hope you enjoyed it. I shared with you a few ways how I use it, the cables that are included. And to be honest, let's say if you do get the Rode Wireless Go, you're probably going to spend about $235 total. That's not including tax. That's including the additional cables and the case if you want that too. So all those will be linked below. There are some alternatives to this and I have reviewed some. Once again, I'll share the link to that video where I do have an alternative to the Rode Wireless Go. It's a little more affordable and actually comes with all of the cables, but I do think that the impact that this has made is well worth the $235 I spent. Not only have I uh, helped to fill more of my programs and my coaching programs, but also these videos, if I'm totally honest, do much better from the YouTube AdSense um, avenue. So those who are watching my videos here, the ads that play over these videos are oftentimes higher quality ads and higher paying ads. So on my first video about the Rode Wireless Go, I think I earned $700, which is crazy to me. And it's still collecting, you know, it's still collecting views. So it's gonna keep adding um, viewers to my channel and views and AdSense revenue. So although in the very beginning when I first got this, I was actually told that I shouldn't buy it. I was told that I wasn't making enough money and that my business couldn't afford it. But I bought it anyway. And I'm so glad that I, that I did. And I think if you're in a place where you're, you might be thinking, I don't know, I don't think I should, you know, I can't invest in, a, I can't uh, spend more money. This is an investment. It is something that's going to enhance what you do and help you with that confidence that you may be lacking. So consider it, consider it a cost of doing business. Consider it something that's going to help you long-term and two years and it's still going strong can't beat that. So think about it. 
Um, I love it. If you have any questions, feel free, feel free to leave a comment or reach out to me on Instagram at Ashes Yoga. And I would love to be there to help you troubleshoot or answer any questions because I've probably been through it before. So I'm going to, I'm leading the way so that I can help you yoga teachers or just teachers in general with um, enhancing your audio quality and improving your confidence. All right, I'll catch you in another video. Thank you for watching my two-year review.